We begin with arguably the greatest sniper of all time. Optic Formal features twice in this top 10, including this memorable SVG performance on Infection. In their final group play match at MLG Orlando 2016, the Optic Dynasty faced Parasite's Kingsman. Great shots like these from Formal helped Optic win this map and eventually the tournament. Possibly spot middle map. Parasite feet right to his sight. Yep, here he goes. Formal reads him like a book. First blood optic <gasps> gaming. Second blood optic gaming. This guy just doesn't miss. Oh, the guy, he's hungry. <laughs> he's hungry for more. As they know where both players now are. So, Formal looking for a potential sniper ace. Oh gosh, please, Mox, just do it for your own sake. Oh, just don't, oh, oh, just don't, do it. Don't, just don't, don't, don't even, don't, Mox, don't do it, please. Oh, okay. Oh. Formal does miss that one. Still a challenge coming in. Oh, Get no. the third for the ace. Take it all oh. four. Oh, Scum, you're a bad boy. <laughs> don't be a bad boy. Formal's like, uh, that was easy. The Complexity Dynasty won six championships in Black Ops 2, but the team started the Ghost season in controversial fashion, dropping Clayster in favour of 2013 World Champion Karma. Clayster, now with Team Caliber, had a chance to score revenge in the grand finals of UMG Philadelphia 2014, but in the words of Aix and coach Mr. X shortly after, Karma showed exactly why they picked him up and why Clayster got dropped. Oh my dirtiness, that is just ridiculous. Oh my goodness. All right, Karma, I get it. You can snipe, all right? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Five and one complexity. Ferro made waves in his rookie season in 2018, working his way through the ranks to teaming with established champions Kenny, Accuracy, and Enable on Team Caliber. Notably prolific with the sniper rifle, he was eager to secure his first championship at the Stage 2 playoffs. Arguably the MVP of that weekend with stellar play in all game modes, these snipes in the grand finals sum up his talent and legacy. Round advantage now for Team Caliber. Barrow's got the cross and slashers. Midsection destroyed. Can he find any more? Still building towards these streaks. Don't show him your head! Woo! It's obliterated and one by one, Rise Nation falling is Pharaoh! Going off in the grand final. So awesome to watch. I mean, we saw the lower third. They are 3-0 throughout the... Widely recognized as the best player in Black Ops 4 when considering the full length of the season, Dashi frequently put Optic on his back with incredible Tempest and sniper rifle plays. Especially relishing the opportunity to put on a show in front of the crowds, these disgusting snipes against Team Reciprocity at CW London 2019 epitomized his mastery of the weapon. That's a drag, and that's huge as well, because the timing... Well, the strap wasn't there for Reciprocity. Oh my oh, god! god. Three, but dash, He's dash, a walking dash. montage! He's a walking montage, people! Two, they tried to split, collapse across, and have some fun with it. Go for it. Yeah. All right, that's a little, it's just, at least put a little bit of respect on Shorty's name. Shorty's gonna push through, and well, TJ's there to secure the round. 5-1, up to game. There are only a handful of sniper aces in Call of Duty history, and Formal holds the crown for the most memorable. In the final tournament of the Advanced Warfare season, Formal ended things with a bang on Biolab against Team Elevate. Locking down the A bombsite with his trademark thermal moors, Matthew Piper picked up his second sniper ace of the season. And it's going to be slacked, slowing things down over at A. 33 seconds left for Elevate to get this bomb down or make an aggressive push. Yeah, going to be tough for Elevate to take this one. Another sniper from Formal. Two picks in a row for him. Sniper's starting to heat up. Always dangerous if that's happening. Sees another one at the green shack going for the sniper ace. Do now it. sees the last one. Glowing orange. There it is. Formal with the snipe. Getting that ace. We've seen it all year from him. Not slowing down at all here at the last event in NA for AW. What a ridiculous round for Formal. One man stopped an entire team. Wow. So efficient with that sniper. And Piccadilly is widely respected as one of the worst maps Call of Duty has ever produced but it certainly opened the door to its fair share of sniper battles. Waskin of the London Royal Ravens routinely led the league snipers in kills per tournament weekend, and he showed exactly why against the Los Angeles Gorillas. 
down 4 to 0. He landed four kills with just four pulls of the trigger. It's just sometimes so hard just to be a team that has a lot of success and search and looks to steal a respawn, right? Because obviously you have SD as game two. Well, there's three respawns between it. So, yes, you could be the best team in the world as Wiskin sits. A oh flashy second kill. Best search destroyed team in the world, but you still have to win a respawn just to force that game five. So. Uh, yes, for LA Gorillas, this is looking good as Wuskin is just basically putting on a montage. There's three. Ace. Mage is fine. Sniper Ace. Wuskin. They have families, man. Don't do it to him. Decimate. He's stealing it. He's stealing it. Wuskin, no. His teammate stole it. That's just bad manners. Whoever took that kill is a dick. I'm just going to say it. There is no way in a five versus one. Come on, Dylan. Why? Like, just let him get the kill. It's fun. It's easy. He's not missing shots. He's jumping off the stage. Perhaps best known for being turned on by Karma in the previous season, Pac-Man had redemption on his mind. Usually drawing his strengths more from brains than pure gun skill, he showed off another facet of his gameplay. Angle. He's already found one, misses the shot. Just a bit. Nice attempt in the flick. He's got two in front. Might be able to find one kill. There it is. The sniper's on point. One to his right. Oh, give me more! Oh. Pac-Man finds two. Oh, that's oh. the third! Is that Pac-Man? Yeah, is Did someone take his controller? That was disgusting. That was sick. That was sick. Some fantastic shots there. Usually the dirty work player of the Optic Dynasty, Karma was rarely required to show off the flashy plays he had in his locker. During a Game 5 Search and Destroy on Riot against Team Elevate, Optic had established a 4-0 lead. It seemed Karma was asking for trouble by keeping the sniper in hand for a 1v2. But if there was one player with the confidence and ability to pull it off, he was just the man. Slipping. Did he see that front player at green? Yes, he does. He's able to catch Saints now. Stuck in a 1v1. Him and Octane in this oh battle. Oh, my the quick scope. Oh, my gosh. Karma with the flashy plays. Unstoppable. We've seen this for years from the guy. Not stopping anytime soon. Didn't even aim at the scope in all the way, at least from our perspective. Huge round. Huge flush from Karma. That's why you need to put a sniper in that guy's hand. This list would not be complete without the ponytail wizard himself. In the grand finals of MLG Dallas in Black Ops 2, Kalista would pull off one of the most memorable clutches of all time with the pre-patch DSR in hand. Picking off Karma first of all, Kalista took a tour of raid search and destroy before no scoping killer and finishing off the job. Quick and aggressive play by both teams and now only Clayster is up for Unite. So for Rico, Playing this oh, one. bam! Woo! Karma felt that one. The hands of Clayster taking him out with the DSR. And he's doing phenomenal work. He needs to start going on YouTube doing, you know, 360 fire. YY ladder. No, no, scope. no, oh. no scope! Take the seat, killing the last player. Oh, 25 seconds goodness. left on the clock. Clayster is going for the bomb. He's about to find a player up oh. close. Oh my goodness. It is a cap 40 versus an SFG. And Clayster oh is going one-on-one -on -one versus oh. Parasite. And oh my Clayster! Oh. The 3v1 clutch. The last member alive. Dodging behind the pillar. He is going to finish with a cap 40 headshot. Take it down, Parasite. What? And tying it up at two rounds of peace. That is the most... Despite making his Call of Duty debut just a few months prior, Simp had long been touted as the next superstar talent in the game. Since being brought into the E-United starting lineup after turning 18, he went from strength to strength. The defining moment of his season came at the World Championship, where the eventual MVP faced units in the winner's semis. After two ridiculous sniper kills in round one, Simp clutched back-to-back -back 1v2s to establish a comfortable advantage on Arsenal Search and Destroy. Already stamping his dominance on his playgrounds, he would sign and seal the victory with a spectacular sniper rifle three-piece. see what he's got. They're all coming to A as well. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Yeah! Yeah! To control. You will never see a final round of search and destroy in your life. And there we have it, the top 10 best sniper plays in COD history. What did we miss? What was your number one? Don't forget to make that like button turn blue if you enjoyed the video and subscribe for more highlights, recaps and documentaries.